Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then you know who I am. If you haven't been here before, then hello and welcome to my YouTube. My name's Tasha Marie and this is my YouTube channel. Over here we do all things plus size, plus size clothing hauls. I also do lifestyle vlogs. I do food shopping hauls. We do come shop with me's. We do any sort of shopping hauls. I love a good pound land. I love a good home bargains, B&M. I love it. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy watching, don't forget to press the little subscribe button. So yeah, today we got my little Christmas tree behind us and I thought I would, I've got a bit of a, sorry I'm looking down here because I've got loads of things in front of me. Also, just thought I'd get it out there. I know there's a little mark on my top. I'm sorry guys. We're all friends here. I think it's probably a little bit of my dinner. I noticed it when I started filming and I thought, can't be bothered to get changed, get changed. We're all friends here. It's a little bit of my food. I'm sorry. But yeah, bit of a mix up today on the whole video. I have got things from Home Bargains. I've got things from Poundland and I've also got some things from Tesco's. Basically, I've got loads of things. So it's going to be a bit of a shopping haul and it's also going to be a gift guide. I have got quite a lot of Christmas presents in this. So if I buy you a Christmas present, stop watching. So yeah, or carry on watching if you want to ruin your Christmas. It's up to you. So if you fancy seeing what I bought in Home Bargains, Poundland and Tesco's and you want to see some gift ideas, carry on watching. I need a drink. Okay, let's get on with it because I got loads to get through. First thing we'll do is home bargains. So I will just pull things out of the bag that I bought and obviously they'll either be part of the shopping haul or there'll be a gift idea. Let's go. Of course, the first item is food. Got a bag of salt and vinegar walkers. They are Patrick's. We have next got um, a Johnson's shower, I mean, body wash. And this one here is the pineapple. And honestly, it smells amazing. Highly recommend if you've never tried it. Right. First gift. This here I seen and absolutely loved shower smoothies so it's pineapple watermelon and strawberry shower gels look at that how good does that look and to be honest for 2 99 you really cannot moan so i was super impressed with that so that'll be somebody's gift can't say whose but yeah 2 99 and i thought that was really really nice so bargain next item it's not a gift it is for me but it could also be a gift for somebody. It is the Wickford & Co Frosted Vanilla, um, I was gonna say milkshake, but it's not, it's candle. And this one was the 99p one, and I absolutely love it. I wish you could smell it, because it smells divine. Next is, okay, I seen this and I was like, am I seeing things? How amazing does this look? Yes, it is. The Drumstick Squashies Bubblegum Flavour Dry Shampoo. How bloody amazing. Love it. Okay. So, you'll think I'm probably bonkers, but this is actually a gift. Okay. The Pink Stuff. We have got the Pink Stuff Paste in the pot, 99p. And we also have the Pink Stuff Cream Cleaner, again, 99p. And we also have the Pink Stuff Multi-Purpose Cleaner, again, 99p. And this is actually a gift for somebody, which I will put in a little gift bag, um, probably some little like um, pink tissue paper, make it look all pretty, keep it in with a theme, obviously pink. 
But yeah, if you've got a friend or a family member that absolutely loves cleaning, then little hampers like this or little gift ideas like this is brilliant. And who doesn't love the pink stuff? Amazing stuff. And 99p, cheap present. Three quid, bargain. Bargain, we all love bargains. Right. Next is basically like a little stock and filler. This was 79p and it, it is just free little snowmen bath fizzlers. And I'll be honest, I just thought this was absolutely adorable. And it will go with somebody's Christmas present. Love that. Next, I, I would say these are a gift, but they're not, they're for me. <laughs> sheet masks. I absolutely adore sheet masks. And these here are 79p each in Home Bargains. I've got a flamingo one. I've got a shark one, a monkey one, and a fox one. Absolutely love them. And these are perfect to put in with people's presents. Even if you just want to put one in with a present or you're doing like a little beauty pack or a hamper pack. I think these are fantastic. And like 79p, absolute bargain. I love them. Next, I just picked up a gift bag. It says Santa Claus is coming home. 49p. We've got a bottle of drink for somebody for Christmas. And I thought that would just be perfect to put that in. Love that. Next is um, not a gift. These are just for Patrick. Because he absolutely loves the Finn's um, cinema mixes. So we've got two packets of them. Because um, Home Bargain seems to be the only place that we can get them. And he absolutely loves them. Next is actually something that I picked up for me. Ah, and these are Caramo Golden Boot. I've never actually tried these before, but they just looked really nice. So I picked them up. They just reminded me of like thin versions of Freddo's. And I think these were something like 69p or something. So I picked them up for me. And then these here are gifts. And Patrick actually seen these and picked these up. These are for um, two men that are in our lives. And they were $3.99, which I think is an absolute bargain. Oh, my God. How amazing. Let me just hold one because they're quite heavy. So, as you can see, they are a huge, are they called a stein or stern? I'm not quite sure what they're called. But they are, like, absolutely massive glasses like beer glasses and they look so cool and they've basically got a beer bottle of Carlsberg inside and this is absolutely massive for 3 99 you really cannot go wrong if you've got a beer lover in your family 3 99 head to home bargains absolutely love this we've got this for somebody um for Christmas and like I said we picked up two so yeah love them and great ideas for Christmas so God knows how I'm going to wrap that though so if anyone's got any ideas on how I could wrap that let me know because they're very heavy but yeah so that is what we got in Home Bargains and that is the gift so we have got one two three four five six gift ideas in Home Bargains not bad moving on to Poundland this is a bit more random, Poundland, but it's what I'm like, random. So, Poundland, I have bought, this one here is a gift, and it is a unicorn bath fizzler set. And as you can see, it has basically got three bath fizzlers in, in the shape of a unicorn. This was a pound, and you really cannot moan for a pound. If you've got a little girl in the family, even an adult this is going to an adult in your family that would absolutely love this for a pound you really cannot moan so i picked up that and it's perfect even stock and filler or um to go with a present absolutely and bargain for a pound you really cannot moan the next item is kind of like a diy christmas present i picked up this photo frame which is a peg photo frame um again obviously it was a pound from the pound shop I'm saying obviously a pound it's not obvious because you can go into the pound shop nowadays and not everything is a pound like you can get I think some of the things I bought maybe were more than a pound so you don't always pay a pound 
So yeah, it's not obvious, is it? But anyway, so I picked up this because I thought I could get some little Polaroid pictures printed and put them on the pegs and wrap it up. And that would be a really cute present for somebody for a pound. And I know that I've got, um, I think it's called Photo Box. It's an online um, photo printing company and you can print photos. I think it's something like up to 33 a month. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm sure it's like 33 a month, which to be honest, you could do that and then you could put them in this and then that's a pound and it's cost and it's a christmas present like a pound for a christmas present is beyond me it's bonkers oh my god i know you broke it <laughs> so yeah so you could put your pictures in there wrap it up and i think that's a really cool christmas present next okay these two items are not christmas presents these are just part of the shopping haul in poundland and these are some drain and blockers i got two of these because we've just like the drain in the sink in the bathroom it's just like um draining the water out slow so we've got some of this to try and sort that out not very interesting sorry um next we have okay this isn't a present this is actually something i picked up for myself because it is maybelline concealer in the meat in a size in a size it is Maybelline concealer and it says it says on it super stay better skin and I've actually used this concealer before and it is in my shade which is shade medium um, and number three and this was 99p so I picked this up because I thought it's just handy to have in your handbag as a little top up if needed and for a pound you really cannot moan but I do believe that these are in there and they're cheap because they're out of date is that true? I don't think there's a date on it. Um, I don't know. I can't see a date. Is that true? Does makeup go out of date? Are they only a pound in the pound land because they're out of date? If you know the answer to that, give us a comment and let me know. Next, we have two of my absolute favourite Sephora's. Ah! Sorry guys if you were expecting a Christmas one. But yeah, this is the Midnight Bloom Sephora and I absolutely love it. I am obsessed. It smells like Alien, the perfume Alien, and I just love it. So I picked up two of them. I also picked up one of the Unicorn Shower Gels from Imperial Leather. Love that. Sticking to um, the... Sticking to, I can't even get my words out. Sticking to the haul and not Christmas items. I bought some household wipes. These were the apple and apricot ones. Don't know if they're any good, but they're a pound, so I thought I'd try them. I also picked up, oh my, I also picked up these clips. Um, I don't know if they'll be any good. Has anyone had them from the pound shop before? Let me know if they're any good. But, oh, they do come off, let me. But I just thought, I like little claw clips. I thought they would be quite handy because my hair's starting to grow now and um, to be able to pin it, pin my hair back, um, especially like when I'm working and stuff, I thought that'd be ideal. And for a pound, I thought I can't go wrong. So it's worth a try. So yeah, I picked up these. Next, just, um, sorry, I put my top down. I picked up two packs of Survivor Pro Fin just to put in the med box. Med box. I don't know who I think I am sometimes. I also picked up some Imperial Leather Flamingo Edition. So we've got the Unicorn one and the Flamingo one. Love it. And I also picked up a Sanax um, deodorant just to put in the cupboard. Okay. So. These ones here actually are Christmas presents now. The next couple of items are Christmas presents. I picked these up in the pound shop because again, they were a pound. And there are these little mini mirrors. I got one in rose gold and I got one in silver. Oh, that one's starting to open a little bit. One for my dad and one for my mum. Um, just because I thought they were really handy. They're small little mirrors. One is normal um, and then one side is magnified. And I just thought these are really handy for like plucking your eyebrows. Excuse me, you spot. 
we all do it. So yeah, and for a pound, I thought these were nice little stocking fillers. So yeah, if you've got like a girl or even a man in your life that you think would really like this for a pound in the pound shop, I thought they were perfect little additions to Christmas presents. So I picked up them. I have also, oh my, I've also picked up these. I'd honestly thought, let me put that one down, honestly thought this was beautiful. So it is a glass jar, which is fairly big, and it has got homemade, can you see that? Homemade written on the front. It has got a screw lid. It's fairly big. I can like fit my hand in it and everything. <laughs> I thought it was gonna get stuck then. So yeah, and I picked up two of these. These were a pound each, and I thought they would be really good to make a Christmas present with. So for example, I bought one for my mum and one for my dad. So I plan on filling these with my mum's favourite sweets and then the other one, my dad's favourite sweets. So for example, my dad, he absolutely loves like sports mixtures and like licorice all sorts and things like that. So I thought if I buy, hang on, bear with me two seconds. So this is what I'm on about. If I've, so I've got this, if I buy these, which are like his favourite sweets, open them up, put them in there and I thought it would just make a nice, pretty little Christmas present. So I fill the jar with his favourite sweets. Um, once I've done that, I've got like ribbon um, and thread and twine and all that. I've got loads of it down with all my Christmas um, presents and stuff. So I could just wrap that round the top. So once he's got his sweets in, put the lid back on, wrap the ribbon round here, twine, whatever you sort of pick and make my own little label to go on it and it could just be a jar of his favourite sweets and I just thought wrapped up that's a really cute present which hasn't really cost a lot of money so it's cost a pound for the jar probably a couple of pounds for a couple of bags of sweets and like my mum she'll have um probably like chocolate raisins and chocolate peanuts in hers so it's not really cost me much I'll put them in either little gift bags or Oh my God. Pa. Yeah? One of the reindeers have just fell down. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I was literally just talking and one of the reindeers fell down. What the hell? I swear, we've got a ghost. Oh my actual God. Okay. I'll tell you a story about the reindeers in a minute. So, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm baffled. Yeah, so I thought these were like really cool ideas for presents. So for a pound is and a couple of quid for a bag of sweets, you're like less than a fiver and you've got a really cool present. Well, I think it is anyway. So yeah, I think that's like a really cool Christmas idea. So yeah, and it's gonna cost like less than a fiver. So bargain. Okay. Also, we've picked up this little tin of biscuits. As you can see, that's the biscuits on the side. This was a pound and it's got Santa Claus on it. And I love it. I just thought it was a really cute um, tin. And it's to go, sorry, excuse me. It's to go with someone's Christmas present. And for a pound, I thought it was really cute. So, bargain. Right. Next, the la next last thing I got in Pound Lamb was this cute little doggy. Okay, so basically, me and Pat have wanted a dog forever. We'd love to get a dog or rescue a dog or something like that, but unfortunately, we live in a flat, so it's not something that we can do at the moment. Um, but it's definitely something that we, we will do in the future um, when we move out of our flat. But at the moment, um, yeah, we just can't at the moment. So yeah, I bought Pat a little doggy for the tree instead. He's named him Rocco and he's gonna go on our tree. I'll let Pat put him on later. But yeah, we're your little Rocco. But yeah, before I move on to what I got in Tesco's, I have to tell you the reindeer story. 
so this here is our reindeer we or stag i'm not quite sure what you call them but we have two of them one they, they both go on like above the tv on the shelf basically we got these three four years ago and our foot room was laid out different to this so we used to have them in the windowsill um there and one day we put them on the windowsill the next the next day like oh sorry we put them on the windowsill and then we went out and done something and when we come back they had moved and when i say moved they were both facing each other when they were both facing out from each other when we left so we were like hmm a bit freaked out by it and thought oh maybe we're just like seeing things and maybe we did put them facing each other i don't know so we then moved them and put, we had our tv here at the time now it's over there but so the tv was here at the time we then put them in front of the tv and we made sure that they were all facing to both of them were facing towards the window and then when we were watching tv one night one just like fell over just randomly fell over no reason just it just fell over and it's really really weird and they just like sometimes they stand up on their own and sometimes they don't i swear we have a ghost and then obviously i was just filming then and today i'm not sure what video is going up first but today we did our decoration so you would have seen that i put these up on the shelf and yeah one just fell down when i was recording it literally, I was, well, you would have seen in the video, I was recording it, it just, just, just tumbled down. How bizarre, I swear to God, we have ghost. So, yeah, little reindeer. Anyway, back to the reason we're actually here. So, the last few items is what I've got in Tesco's. We went food shopping yesterday, and i just seen a few little items, and I picked them up, and I thought I'd add them to this haul. So, if you've got a mug lover in your family, or someone that collects mugs, or just likes mugs, or drinks tea and coffee, then these items are perfect. I have got this clear mug, which, oh my god, actually looks filthy in the ring light. But this here is for Patrick, that's why the label's already taken off, because he's already like took the labels off and everything and this one here was a couple of pound and he absolutely loves it so that's perfect if you've got someone that likes tea or coffee and i also picked up this one for a special lady in my family in, in my family in my life and i absolutely love it this is more like a bowl <laughs> but this person absolutely loves coffee and she drinks it all day long and she loves cups like this she likes big cups and i I just know she will love this. So when me and Pat found, seen this, we were like, we got to get it. This was in Tesco's and it was £4, which I don't think is a, that bad for a mug like this. It is absolutely stunning, if you can see. It is absolutely beautiful. And I know she'll love that. So that was one present we got in Tesco's. And then this was also another present that we picked up. How bloody cute is this? So this here is um, a Cocoa Pops bowl and you get a box of Cocoa Pops inside there. And you also get this really cool spoon with um, the Cocoa Pops sort of like logo on it. Absolutely love this. It was six pound. And I just really think this is like a really cool present to get somebody. Um, so yeah, love that. And I also picked up this four set of hot chocolates hope you can um see them properly so basically it's got four hot chocolates in it and so here we go and it's inside i wish i could like show you but it's got different like um mixtures to add to the hot chocolate basically so you've got it says on the back add three heaps heaped teaspoons of hot chocolate milk and 180 mils of hot water into your mug and stir so the flavors that we have in this are gingerbread cookie peppermint mocha um french style vanilla and double chocolate and how cute is that and each bottle's got like a snowman on it an angel a reindeer a santa and i just think that's really really cute and i think off the top of my head this was five pound uh, which is not bad for a little gift 
whether it be a stocking filler or to go with someone else's present or just as a gift. I, I would be really happy to receive that. So yeah, that's really cute. And we also picked up this makeup brush organizer and this here was five pound. Um, and it's basically, you've probably seen them before, but they're just these plastic makeup organizers and you can put brushes and lipstick in it. And I just think these are really cool. And especially like girls, maybe even gentlemen too, these would be really handy to put their makeup and bits and bobs in on their desks. And for a fiver, I thought it was really cool. So that's definitely a really cool idea and a present. And I think that was it. Yes, that is it for the gifts. I did pick up these. I don't know why I'm going to show you them, but I'm going to show you them anyway. These passion fruit lemonades. Um, yeah. I picked, I seen these, um, someone have these before and I was like, oh, they look really nice. So I went on the hunt to find them. So I picked them up. Yeah, they're four passion fruit lemonade. I think they were like £1.50 for four, which um, is quite pricey really for four cans, but I really wanted to try them. Anyone tried them? If you have, let me know in the comments what they're like. And that is it. That there is just an empty bag. So yeah that is it so you got a little haul from home bargains you got a little poundland haul and a little tesco's haul and some great christmas gift ideas so i hope this gave you some ideas that are not too pricey and some things that you could even like make yourself like the sweet jars etc i just think presents like this mean so much to people and like the photo frame ones a pound these, these presents don't cost much, um, but they're so thoughtful and I really like presents like that. So, sorry, my bra was digging in me. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some really good ideas. Yeah, and if it did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. If you did like any of the ideas or you did end up going to buy anything from this haul, please let me know. I love having a little conversation with you guys in the comments. So yeah. But I will blabber on and on and on. So I'm going to be quiet now <laughs> and I'm going to go. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.